Yes. I'll ask your question, let me hear you. There's a little bit of confusion I'm having here. Why do Christians hide their absurd teachings? But if you look at the Islam, Islam is just very plain and clear. Why do Christians hide their absurd teachings? Christians do not hide any teaching. The Bible says my people are perishing because they lack knowledge. So definitely the Bible is clear about this that we shall acquire knowledge. Second Timothy 3 says, study to show thyself approved as a workman who needed not to be ashamed, but rightly divide the word of God. And Proverbs says, in all you are getting, get wisdom. And Psalms 119 from verse 11, it always talks about thy word have I hidden in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Joshua also tell the people of Israelite, this word of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but meditate from it day and night. So the scripture in almost every part encourages studying Bible very well to understand. And anybody who tells you that this is mystery in the Bible, it is the person who actually don't know it. So he just want to hide under mystery to just get himself out. But there is nothing like mystery in the Bible. Every teaching of the Bible is open for everyone to understand. It is the only book that is being translated into every language in the world. So just in Nigeria alone, Bible is translated into 515 languages or more. So if Bible will be translated into all this language, how is it a mystery? Anybody who tells you any teaching in the Bible is a mystery, that person don't know what you are asking him, so he just want to dodge and escape using the word mystery. But nothing is mystery in the Bible. So you are trying to tell me that none of their teachings is being hidden or that mystery? No, except anybody that don't want to study the Bible. Most especially, you know we are in a lazy generation. Most especially, uh, Second Timothy, it talks about this kind of generation. But what is even more interesting in this verse is that uh, it says that time is coming, people will have an itching ears. They will not endure sound doctrine. They will go and gather for themselves preachers that will tell them what their ears want to hear. And all of those preachers who give itching ears messages, um, the other way to call them is that those preachers are preachers who tickle the ears of their followers. They always want to give nicer someone the someone that will please their audience so that the audience will come every day. So these kind of preachers don't even know sound doctrines in the Bible. They don't even know. It's either they don't know or they don't want to preach about it so that they will not lose members. So they will hide under the name mystery. So ask any question you want to ask in the Bible. There is no mystery, actually. There is nothing like mystery, except a lazy person or a person with an itching ears that don't want to hear the sound doctrine, or people who are lazy that don't have time to study the Bible for themselves. These are the only two things that will make teachings in the Bible mystery. If you don't have time to study the word of God for yourself, only want to listen to all of these false prophets and false teachers that will tell you what your ears want to hear, then these false prophets and false teachers will tell you, yes, the Bible is full of mystery. The Bible is not full of mystery. The Bible is clear and the Bible is translated to every language. In fact, God of Christians speaks every language. God of Christians is not a God that will say, my word has to be in this kind of language. We have many religions that you only have to learn that language so that you will be able to read their book because that is the only language their God permit. The God of Christian is not like that. The God of Christian permit and can understand every language. That is why we have the Bible is translated into every language.